So, hi, I'm Susie Zakorski. I'm a Fulbright U.S. student for the 2016-2017 year. I had came to the United Arab Emirates and the American University of Sharjah two years ago in the fall 2014 semester. I came through International Exchange Office as well as the CIEE program. Um, and right away, I matriculated into art history courses. I took a course with Dr. Martin Giesen, a Michelangelo course, as well as a visual arts course, Painting the Practice of Color, with Professor David Hewitt. I came here knowing that I wanted to pursue contemporary Middle Eastern art. I knew Sirkal in Dubai had a growing scene, Sharjah Art Foundation, Sharjah Art Museum. So I was in a right place to do that. And through my experience, actually, in a painting course, I had seen a Saudi artist, Tamer Khalil. He was a part of, he was finishing his CAD um, in architecture, um, but I had seen him painting in the back of Dr. Um, Professor Hewitt's class, and he immediately I was drawn to him and I just started talking to him about his experiences and the painting had no borders to it it was white and I asked him you know what's the meaning of this and he says I want to live in a border free environment you know I don't want to be constricted by different ways of painting or playing music or creating architecture I want to just kind of be very free and liberated when I create art um, and that experience alone turned into hours of interviewing him. And it was this first moment where I knew I loved interviewing. I loved learning not only about his art uh, techniques, but about growing up, how he became an artist in, in not only the Middle East, but in the Arabian Peninsula as, as a Saudi Arabian artist. How I was able to apply to this Fulbright was constantly speaking with the AUS CAD professors, uh, Professor David Hewitt, as well as you know, Dr. Giesen, who actually, you know, accepted to be my Fulbright advisor. So he was constantly talking to me about my thesis when I was applying, because um, it was during that same time of me trying to create my undergrad thesis while also applying to the Fulbright. So I was constantly sending emails back and forth with him, and he was advising me a bit, as well as Professor David Hewitt, in terms of, you know, more about uh, uh, artists in the Emirates, Emirati heritage, how that's manifested in the artwork itself. So they were helping me all the time with that. I have two different projects I'm doing for my Fulbright scholarship. I have one where I'm going to be assisting the curator of the 35th annual Emirates Fine Arts Society exhibition. It is the longest running exhibition in the entire um, Arabian Peninsula, as well as the oldest exhibition space and the oldest um, practicing art collective society in the UAE, starting forming in 1980. So I will be helping assist Nasser Abdullah, the, the curator for this exhibition. And what naturally came out of that was being able to combine all of my interviews that I've been doing since my time here in October and um, creating a website, creating a platform. And I feel that it's very difficult when you read. There's so much you know, resources nowadays you can look at in magazines that are covering Middle Eastern artists from Lebanon and Syria and North Africa to the Raven Peninsula, but there is no specific website that's showcasing interviews, specifically interviews with Khaliji artists. So I wanted to showcase and, and show a light, show a window into these studios, because most of these times I am um, interviewing them in their studios, um, older, younger Khaliji artists, and um, just exactly shedding light on their experiences. And there's drastically differences, differences in terms of growing up pre-oil, post-oil, three generations, they're all having so many different historical narratives which parallel comes to art historical narratives. And I've noticed, and there's many exhibitions that are shedding a light onto this, there's a gap. I mean, everyone knows it. There's a gap between these older and younger artists. And the only way to bridge this gap is dialogue.